So Kylie fans are in an absolute tiz because dancing has finally leaked. It's definitely not officially out there, but most of us have got our hands on it now because Kylie fans are notorious for just, you know, rummaging through the, the waste of Google and, and the internet until they find what they want. Michael, you've just had your very first listen of dancing and we were listening to you listen to it. What are your, <laughs> what are your impressions, good or bad? Oh, wow. Um, I, for my first impressions, it's very Kylie still. Yes. Um, which is which is awesome. Yes. Um, hasn't tried to go on to another gen- genre of music. Um, as a Kylie fan of, of many many years now, <laughs> as you know, um, it's uh, I really liked it. Um, it was very um, as I said, Kylie and very uh, it's storytelling, I should say. Do you know she never uh, stops uh, bringing like right from the age of I don't know um, uh, 12, 13, Every album, including Kylie, Enjoy Yourself, there wasn't much progression there, but there was some. She's dragged me along into places I never thought I'd go, especially around X, Impossible Princess. Those were completely different. This song, I hate country music. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And when those rumours first started coming out that Kylie was going country and she went to Nashville, of all the places in the world Mm -hmm. I never wanted Kylie to visit, musically at least, Nashville. But (laughs) here she is with this song and she manages to fuse Kylie music, pop music, dance music, with that twang of of country, and it's palatable to me. I like it. I think it's amazing. Yeah, uh, you know what? The whole the, the, the verses of the song yeah. is amazing, and I think that's what she's lacked in the previous years is the verse. Mm-hmm. You know, going into the chorus. Yes. So I kind of love the verses almost as better than the chorus. You know what I mean? Because it's quite storytelling as 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 it's been. Well, uh, the, the promise has been, hasn't it? Storytelling. Yeah. That like the rumors for the past year, in fact, have been she wants to do something musically. I love how honest she was. Kiss me once, um, not a huge success, and she said, "Oh, my next album, it better be better. It better be good." She mm-hmm. actually said that, like, because she knows the stakes are high. She can't have another Kiss Me Once on her hands, but she's lived up to it. This is about mortality. Dancing's mm-hmm. about mortality, and she's saying. And, and it's so Kylie, she doesn't just sprout um, words of wisdom. She actually lives by them. This is Kylie. She says, I'm going to give this one life that I've got a shot at everything I have. And if I've got to go out, I've got to go out dancing. She's going to give it all she's got. And she did promise the, her heart and soul in the record as well. And um, it's shaping up to be actually um, uh, her career record. That's what I, I um, think so too. Yeah. And, I, you yeah. know, I've never been so, so excited of a Kylie album release since probably you know uh fever you know light years i like the way you say that because i feel the same but i have to admit this little bit of euphoria i get before a kylie release or upon hearing the first few listens Mm. i say it every time i am probably the same every album release but this one does feel a little bit different i feel like this is going to be something um Mm. golden golden there you go it just (laughs) you know i think golden as well as the title of the album is all, um, also very um, Kylie. Very, it is her golden era. She yes. is turning fifty, as we know, and yep. she's not. Um, um, she's embracing her age. Uh, hasn't been done before by a female artist. Well, you so know what she's doing. She's she's taking um, a lesson from Madonna because Madonna's very. Uh, I believe anyway. I truly believe this. I believe Kylie watches Madonna closely and then um, uh, sort of um, takes what she wants but definitely rejects what she doesn't want. Madonna's very um, defensive about her age. And I think Kylie's watched that and seen it doesn't give Madonna much dignity when when she answers questions about age and relevance, like the the short shrift. Kylie Um, is embracing it. She's getting in first, isn't she? Yeah, she is, uh, definitely. And that's what I see in the record. The name of the record, Golden, and again... um, you know, people think golden by glitter. <laughs> you think <laughs> gold glitter. I think Kylie will not be going gold glitter or painted on, on the actual um, on the actual album. Yeah. Um, I believe that she's um, probably. Correct me if I'm wrong. She's the first Kylie to embrace her age with the record. Um, you know, the I don't first think pop it, artist. You mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I just think it was brilliant at first. I've got to admit, but when I first heard golden, I thought, oh. It's a bit cliched, isn't it? But now that I've thought about it, she's absolutely get, she's getting in first. She's embracing the age, and it can mean so many different things. It's not just about her fiftieth year, even though of course that's a big part of it. Golden is Kylie. Golden is the colour of Kylie, isn't it? Exactly right. Gold, and um, and don't forget also um, when you golden, she's also got, celebrating her thirty years in music as well. Yeah. So it uh, kind of makes sense as an album title. Vintage, um, and- rare. Special, yeah. dignified, um, valuable, 
all the things that fans think of Kylie. I've also got uh, my 16-year-old son here because I thought it was important we get a young perspective on, on, a, on, a, on a Kylie song being released. What did you think when you first heard Dancing, Cameron? Well, like from what she's been saying, she wants to embed more story um, into her songs. Yep. And this song's like nice and upbeat and you can enjoy it, but it also has some substance in it as well. Like it, the lyrics, if you listen to them, she really it's about... Like you said, mortality and wanting to live her life. Yeah. It doesn't sound like most of the other songs. Taylor Swift released an album in October slash November and she's not trying to compete, is she, with this no. song? That's what I really like. The first I've only listened to it three times, but the first three times I've listened to it, I have loved that she's not competing with mm. a Taylor Swift or that there's a certain sound in music at the moment. Do you agree, with Michael, oh, yeah. with like Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift? Like they're they're releasing good music, um, it, but it's got a it's got a certain production value that you can tell it's a 2016 17 song. Mm. Um, but this song, it doesn't. It veers off into different territory, which I think is going to make it stand out. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I can hear the twang in the country twang yeah. and just the, in the vocal and in the, the way of the music. Um, and I don't think it's very generic at all, which is which is exactly what we want from Kylie uh, as fans. Uh, um, and she's going to actually push push a new sound in, I think, with this record. Um, and uh, watch we'll get Nashville. And <laughs> <laughs> They'll be following her. You can, but this song is already in my ear. It's an earworm song. Totally. Yeah, the chorus, the chorus, and the verses are both very, very uh, um, kind of. Uh, Amazing. I'm looking forward to the video clip as well. I can, uh, I can sort of, it's very natural, this video clip. Really natural, outdoors, something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Well, she did shoot the video already. Um, yes. And, and I did see Kylie recently at the Swinging Safari, um, her movie. Oh, you're always at these things. I'm so jealous. Uh, I was there past did you talk the to her? Which is awesome. And I got the uh, invite to the... Uh, to the actual film itself. So um, Kylie in the flesh still looks amazing. Just so you know. Yeah. Have been, like, she just looks phenomenal. Yeah. She, she looks amazing. So I don't know. This is a very, 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 very special day by fans. You can hear my voice. I'm very excited. I am going to end this because I want to go and listen to my boast. Say to I'm going to go, I'm going to put it in my car as well. Okay. So thank you, thank you, Mike. And live on. Bring on the golden era. Uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for having me again, Tim. And uh, nice to meet you, Cameron. And uh, let's... Uh, yeah. Let's get golden, eh? Golden, I can't eh? wait can't either. Wait. Yeah, we'll talk again when golden gets released, yeah? Sounds fantastic. Thanks. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Jamie.